Good morning students. Today we are going to start with the module 3 of construction management and entrepreneurship. In that in this third module we are going to study about the construction qualities and safety and human values. So when it comes to the construction quality, okay, first we are going to discuss about the construction quality. What do you mean by quality of the construction? Here when we we are going to construct any of the new project or any any buildings or any uh, we want to uh, prepare any our manufacture any of the product uh, one of the main important thing of the material or the any construction is important is quality because quality refers to the quality is directly proportional to the our um, how our uh, structure we are prepared, how, uh, what is the durability and everything it will be uh, depending upon the quality of the materials we are used and quality of the construction we are recommended or we are you are preferred. Okay. When this is our quality. When we are going to when we are going to say about, say about the quality here second of point will be come in picture is responsibility. Responsibility is what? To achieve whatever the qualities we are assuring for the owners or the, for the client in the, our agreement for the construction of the any new uh, structure or any building. So to maintain that uh, quality we have uh, contracted as a proper responsibility to make sure that whatever the materials he is using for the construction of this uh, pro project or the construction of the building he has to responsible for the maintaining that quality depending upon the course depending upon the course which are recommended for the construction qualities and also depending upon the also whatever he has mentioned in the agreement to maintain the quality of um, quality which products they are using for the construction of the material so and next will be requirements so when it once the responsibility is completed, here come in picture is this requirements of the materials. Whatever the materials we are using or whatever the materials he has assured in the agree contract agreement, he has to make sure that he has to um, purchase and he has to use say, um, use the uh, assured or uh, contracted um, materials requirement we have to provide in the construction site for the construction of the new project. So next will be what quality in the construction is related to following points. Quality in the construction is related to following point. One is satisfying the specifications mentioned in the contract and second is completing the projects on time for third is fulfilling the owner's requirements within the budgets and fourth is avoiding the dispute claims fifth is ensuring the facilities performance in the intended purpose so in first point what it is saying that satisfying the specifications mentioned in the contract so here whatever the contractor has assured or he has made the contract um, contract to the owners and according to that he has to maintain the quality of the each and every material and also quality of the buildings and then come to the according to that contract he has mentioned the um, he has uh, given the certain time to complete the project okay so within that time itself he has to complete the project otherwise what will happen here if time increase time of the building will be increases in that case here it will be delaying the uh, delaying the work and uh, what delaying the uh, number amount of work and also delaying the uh, overdues which are there in the due to the delaying work and next is what fulfillment of the owner's requirement with it with it so whatever the con whatever the drawings or whatever the designs they are approved and along with the uh, quality material quality which are assured in the contract he has to fulfill in the budgets whatever the estimations he has prepared within, uh, so according, according to that he has to 
come complete and within that budget itself he has to uh, complete the work and also next point is avoiding the dispute claims means he has should not claim any of the extra work extra amount for the any um, any material so whatever the amount and whatever the uh, he has uh, he has uh, claiming the amount it should be depending upon his uh, estimation and also and next is ensuring the facilities whatever the facilities he has given in the construction he has to perform well to its life span of the structure okay next is in the elements of the qualities next point is elements of the quality in this we have mainly three points one is quality characteristics second is quality design and third is quality conformance in the first we are going to start with discuss one by one first is quality characteristics in a quality characteristics is what a quality characteristic is related to the parameters with the respect to which quality control process are judged means here whatever the qualities of the quality of the materials or the quality of the building which has to be uh, how we check depending upon the whatever the procedures and process to uh, and process it is there depending upon that we have to check that is the quality characteristic and next quality characteristic includes strength of the materials colors of the material color whatever the colors we are using and whatever the textures what are the dimensions height everything it will be depending upon the what quality characteristic whatever the in the uh, building planning whatever the con con contractor have received from the uh, designer according to that he has prepared the uh, construction or not everything and whatever the colors he has mentioned depending upon that same color he has used and whatever the material they have said so according to that depending on the strength of the uh, strength of the steel strength of grade of the concrete whatever this everything he has to be maintained according to the design standard that is what the characteristics of the um, quality characteristics and next is what quality design it refers to the quality with which design is to be carried out here when we are saying that quality design we have to it is it should be ensure that it it should along with the whatever the is standards are there it should be go through it and it should be all the design should be following the all the is codes and all the design uh, design standards has to be met with met and has to give the proper quality design when it, when it comes to the designing aspect next is what quality of conformance here it refers to the degree at which uh, construct construction or contractor has uh, confirmed the quality what degree has maintained the quality of the construction it will be mainly depending upon the field construction methodology and next is inspection so here in field construction methodology there are many many methodologies which can be um, utilized or it, it can be used for the construction of the any project and depending upon that methodology here quality of the material or the quality of the structure it may vary and next is inspection inspection it will be mainly depending upon the various aspects next point evaluation of the qualities in construction so in that we have mainly four steps first one is inspection second one is quality control third is quality assurance fourth is total quality management so here next we will discuss one by one in this detail so in this first quality inspection inspection is specific examination testing formal evaluation exercise and overall appraisal of process product or service to ascertain if it confirm to establish the requirements so it includes what whatever the specification uh, specific um, examinations we have to be carried out for the uh, checking of the quality and whatever the test whatever the evaluations we require so everything it involves the inspection inspection in the quality and next is what it involves the measurements tests gauges and 
to certain the characteristics of the um, characteristics in regarding the any object or the activities okay here when a contractor has uh, constructed a building according to a plan how you inspect inspect when you are inspecting the uh, um, construction it will be measurements whatever the building uh, sizes of the building and whatever the room sizes he has maintained or not properly whatever all the wall dimensions he has not maintained or not height everything is to, has to be checked and along with this whatever the materials he is using they have to be test, tested uh, tested for their strength and their structures everything has to be tested and uh, and then they will inspect according to this they will inspect the material or they inspect the uh, in um, construction industry construction of the project and next the results whatever the results we have got in the in test that has to be compared with the actual uh, compared with the standard uh, standard points or the standard values and then they will they define that it will be whatever the quality which are to be assured or not then this is how they will inspect and next when testing of the uh, material in this mainly it involves the non destructive methods in this there are many methods are used first visual visual inspection uh, liquid dyed uh, penetrate penetrator and radiography ultrasonic acoustic emission and tem th uh, thermography so there are many of the uh, non destructive inspect inspections are there for the assuring the or inspecting the uh, construction okay next next point is inspection accuracy when it comes to inspection accuracy here we will divide into three mainly three points first is level of human errors accuracy of the instruments and third is uh, completeness of the inspection planning so in this human error inspection are mainly due to technical errors in advent or errors or non planned not planned errors construction uh, conscious errors communication errors so there are uh, so many errors which will be present in the <coughs> in the human errors okay next function functions of inspection department so what are the functions are there inspection of subsoil inspection of material inspection of equipment inspection of work at each stage so these are the functions of the inspection department so what are those first is inspection of the subsoil and the second is inspection of the materials inspection of the subsoil it includes the before the construction start they will inspect whether for the foundation work okay whether we have to um, when uh, whether hard strata it is there soft strata it is there for the foundation of the foundation of the structure they have to inspect before the before going to the designing okay depending upon that they are going to design the foundation aspect and depending upon this they will go uh, design for the structure structural design okay and next is what inspection of the material so it inspection of the material it will be when it or construction construction process is going on there whatever the material they are contractor is using those materials have to be inspected properly he is using the uh, required whatever the guidelines mentioned in the design designer according to that uh, contractor is using the materials like uh, cements he is using opc cements or ppc cements and 43 grade cements so everything it should be mentioned and also what what grade of steel he is using what are the dimensions he is using and whatever what is the strength of the steel so everything has to be and also if we come to the bricks whatever the bricks he is using it should be uh, first class bricks second class bricks and what is the structure of the bricks everything has to be inspected properly and next inspection of the equipments if any equipments are using for the construction construction of the uh, construction of the project that equipment has to be 
properly inspected and they have to be maintained properly and next is what inspection of the work at every stage so um, at certain intervals and at certain stages uh, continuous uh, evaluation and continuous inspection has to be carried out when the construction work is going on whether the dimensions of the walls they are uh, constructing it properly it is maintained or matching with the our uh, drawing sheets or not it has to be checked and along with this whatever this sizes of the di room dimensions are there that has to be checked properly and what is the grade of the concrete he is using for the uh, construction of the slab everything has to be inspected stage wise okay these are the main functions of the inspection department next is quality control so in this quality control is the periodic inspection to ensure that the constructed fa facilities meet to the standard specifications in the contract so quality control is what it is a periodic inspection to ensure that whatever the contractor material contractor is using the materials and he is uh, doing the construction work it is matching with the uh, matching with the all the specifications which are mentioned in the contract or not has to be checked and has to be controlled and the control process involves observing the actual performance and comparing with the some standards and then taking the action if observed performance is significantly different from the standards okay here what will happen whatever the inspect um, periodic inspection is happening uh, for the controlling of the quality control work here if any um, material which is ma not matching with the standards they have to be uh, checked and they have to be taken uh, taken the action against that and they have to be um, change and they have to be uh, replaced with the required um, required material and standard material and then the construction can be carried out for the further further and next point is it in it's a overall commitment to, to produce the different free products it is overall commitment to produce defect free product defect free product means it should be Mm, all the whatever the materials we are using for the construction, it should be depending upon the our standards, and it should not be uh, varying from the standard. This is how the quality uh, control is to be maintained. Control involves a universal uh, sequence of steps as follows. Next point is control involves a universal sequence of steps as follows. First is choose of the control objects control subjects that is choose what we intend to regulate next is establish measurements third is establish standard of performance product goal and process goals fourth measure actual performance fifth compare actual measured performance against the standards fifth uh, Sixth is take action on the difference. So in this first one is what choose the subject, control subjects, whatever the materials they are using, they have to be choose properly in regularly. And next establish the measurement. Whatever the measurements are there, depending upon their seats, depending upon the drawings, they have to be properly maintained or not. Everything has to be checked periodically. Third point is what establish the standard performance means whatever the standards which are there depending upon the is course they have to be meeting or not all the products which are to be completing with the times whatever the schedules they have prepared for the completion of the work according to that that standard chart it is meeting the work or not everything has to be checked and also measure the actual performance means uh, how much amount of work is to be completed depending upon the time lapse or depending upon the time required so everything is to be maintained properly and it is to be checked periodically the power um, whatever the schedules we have made and next compare the actual measure performed against the standards here we are, we are going to compare compare this whatever the amount of work has to be completed 
and also whatever the actual um, material they are using is to be compared along with the standards and then if any uh, defects are found they have to be correct, uh, corrected and they have to be uh, make sure that according to the standards it has to be uh, construction work is to be carried out next is quality assurance quality assurance is a program co covering activities necessary to provide quality in the work to meet project requirements quality assurance is what is a program covering activities necessary to provide the quality in the net in the work provide the quality in the work to meet the project requirement so whatever the um, here what is happening whatever the uh, product uh, product quality it is there it has to be maintained properly and it has to be checked periodically quality assurance involves establishing the projects related to policies pro procedures standards tra training guidelines and syst system necessary to produce quality so how it um, quality assurance it uh, establish it will be continuous process of it is a continuous process by um, continuously checking inspecting the quality of the material quality of the uh, whatever the procedures where construction procedure it is there and all the standards it is meeting or not and giving the training to the uh, training to the employees for maintaining the qualities and guidelines they have to be set out so according to that guideline itself we have to work and we have to use for the material and syst uh, system necessary to produce so depend like this we can produce the quality products okay next next point is design a professional and contract contractor to responsible for developing the appropriate program for each project so whatever the different projects are there so for everything it will be responsible for the contractor who has to be maintaining for maintaining the quality of the uh, quality of the project uh, next point is quality assurance program which includes arranging the periodical training for the for its workers means for um, materials which are using and how to maintain the quality of the product we have to give the periodic training for the worker so that he has to be he has to take look after for the when they are going to use for the uh, use for the construction of the work and next is what goal safety program so sorry a good safety program he has to be um, all the workers has to be uh, properly uh, trained for the safety programs because safety it is a important safety of the worker it is a important point of the uh, not only the human life and also the safety of the whatever the materials we are using and safety of the uh, structure structure uh, next a sound procurement system to get the best quality material and suppliers uh, uh, we have to procure a system such that we have to get the pro um, best quality of the material also continuous supply should be present whenever we are required the material the supplier should be able to supply the pr uh, product according to the whatever the standards which are required what we, are, we want for the our construction activity or the for the project and next a reward scheme for innovative work and uh, competitive career, um, career progress scheme means it it will encourage the uh, worker by rewarding the rewarding scheme for giving the giving the uh, contractor for innovative works which are to be um, carried out in the construct, construction project and also completing the com competitive pro career progress which are to be carried out okay okay